always alerting, always tracking. This is Next Weather. Let's check in with Cindy Pressler and to get that beach bag, make sure to put sunblock in mm -hmm. it, right? And the big floppy hat. Yes. yes. Don't forget that. Water. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sunglasses. Lots of water. <laughs> sunglasses. Let's go now. <laughs> oh. We're and ready. We're packed. I'm don't, in. don't forget your food, too. You want that picnic <laughs> lunch, too. This is what we're expecting. We are uh, warm and mostly dry this weekend. The only strange thing here would be maybe a stray shower inland away from the beaches, so the beaches are fine. But this it's because of the uh, sea breezes coming together and kind of a little convergence zone. This will be western Broward and Miami Dade. It's possible again uh, as we head through the weekend tonight and tomorrow. Uh, front is going to come through. Looks like it will make its way through, but it won't have a lot of oomph, so we're not expecting a lot of rain with it. Our winds will be turning just a bit southerly this weekend, pumping in more humidity, so that will be up just a bit, and the temperatures also will be going up. And then on Monday, that'll be our hottest day. Winds turn to the southwest. Um, we'll get some gusts up to 20, maybe up to 25 in spots. But yes, beach day tomorrow, definitely winds south at 5 to 10, maybe some gusts up to 15. Temperatures at the beach in the lower 80s because of the southeasterly flow onshore. Water temperature now has gone up around 80 degrees, so it's starting to warm up. If you want to take the boat out, no problem there as well. There are no alerts. South southeasterly winds at 10 to 15 knots, seas less than two feet, light chop on those waters. If you're heading down to the Keys, same type of thing. East to southeasterly winds, one to two, light chop on the water. So really, this weekend is going to be made to be on the water with these warm temperatures. High pressure. <sighs> in the same location has not budged. It's a large area. It's a ridge of high pressure sitting out here, which is suppressing any kind of a lift in the atmosphere so we don't get any rain, any real measurable rain going. Just the exception of the little showers with the flow. Temperatures right now, 83 here in Miami, but look at this, Orlando is hotter. And it's 90 in Jacksonville, so the warmer temperatures are actually going to be to the north. We've got the little sea breeze coming in to help us off. So a high of 87 tomorrow, I think Sunday as well. And then Monday, 89, we hit that, we'll be near a record high. And then temperatures will be back down as the front goes through and cooler air comes in. But if we hit it, it'll be very close. 91 is the record, and that was set way back in 1908, so long standing record there. Humidity up just a bit, you'll notice it, especially on Monday. The front will come through. I think it looks like it'll be late Monday night into Tuesday morning and no support with this as it moves through. So that's why we're thinking this is not going to bring much, uh, much rain at all, but it will bring in the cooler, drier air behind it. So if you go into Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, temperatures will be down. Look at this back into the low to mid 80s and drier air. So that's a good thing.